I am Bernadine Evaristo and I'm a writer. Well, my first career was as an actress and I, I began by writing plays um, because there weren't plays for black women existing when I came of age in my 20s. Because there is a paucity of literature from black and Asian writers in particular, but also from other communities, working class communities and so on, I feel that um, means that aspiring writers don't have those books on the shelves to which they can aspire to. They see the writing industry as something that's not for them. With my books, I create characters from all kinds of backgrounds, white characters, black characters, older characters, gay, straight, whatever. Um, and as a writer, really, it's my job to bring these characters alive. There are a lot of writers out there who don't seem to write beyond their, for example, race. And I find that very intriguing. When I was writing Mr. Loverman, which is a novel about a 74-year-old uh, black Caribbean man who's lived in London for 50 years, uh, who is gay, closet gay. Through writing the book, I then got to meet um, closet gay Caribbean men in their 70s and 80s. They, they found me through Facebook, but I hadn't actually met a man of that generation who was gay and out um, before I wrote the book. So it was, I was using my imagination and I was, you know, allowing myself to be brave and to explore a subject that I thought was really important to explore and again is very absent from our literature. Um, and hoping that people wouldn't feel that I got it all wrong. I'm supporting right now because it's really important that all our stories get out there. You know, we, we have to stop this sort of really kind of um, narrow, narrow representation of British society in our literature. It's so important that black writers, uh, gay writers, working class writers, whatever, disabled writers, who are writing along those kinds of themes with peopling their novels with those kinds of characters are published and are brought to public attention and I think it can only enrich our literature.